Now we're gonna go over splicing pieces together with D style. On the eave, sometimes, generally, it's a lot longer than 10 foot, right? Our break and our slitter and everything, we cut everything down into 10 foot sticks. It's about the most practical. So if I stick this eave piece on here and the roof continues, I'm gonna have to stick another piece on to this eave piece, right? In order to do that and make it look good, all that we have to do is put our speed square on this face, on our D style, and we mark our D with a little notch here, and we also mark our kick out, because these are gonna be the two points that hit. That's all we do is just mark the point. Then from there, you can make an angle back. Now the thing is, when you make this angle on the D style, you don't want the angle to go through the 90 degree face of the drip edge. You just want it to go about to that 90 degree face, just like so. Also, generally when you make these marks, they should be four inches back, there should be four inches of overlap, okay? So both, once you have your four inch marks, you've marked them both, we need to angle back to our 90 here, right? Correct snips. There's one angle. Now I gotta switch snips to where this guy pushes my 45 degree kick out further out, not, crushes it, not crushing it, okay? The other thing is too, it's almost easier to get on your point here and give a little squeeze, a little dent, then turn your snips because that'll keep you on the point. You just cut through straight like this, not into this point. So once you cut that angle into this point, then it becomes very difficult and you almost have to cut the whole thing down a little bit. All right. Now when we take our ne next piece to install it, all we have to do is open up our hems a little bit. And then these two should slide together well. And on the roof, it'd be a little bit easier than in this uh, example here. But that's how the two should slide together, right? And once this point hits that 45 degree notch, sometimes you can tap it on the end a little bit to get it to go in a little further. Then you know you've hit the right point and it's good to go.